Mueller noted Congress has the power to address whether Trump violated the law, and Democrats quickly vowed to steam ahead with congressional investigations of the president. But party leaders played down talk of impeachment just 18 months before the 2020 presidential election, even as some prominent members of the party's progressive wing, most notably U.S. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, promised to push the idea. Many know I take no pleasure in discussions of impeachment. I didn't campaign on it, and rarely discuss it unprompted, she said on Twitter. But the report squarely puts this on our doorstep. Rep. Doug Collins, the top Republican on the House Judiciary Committee, said on Twitter, there seems to be some confusion. This isn't a matter of legal interpretation, it's reading comprehension. The report doesn't say Congress should investigate obstruction now. It says Congress can make laws about obstruction under Article I powers. Many of the report's findings are certain to be repeated on the campaign trail as Democrats make their case against Trump's re-election, although Democratic presidential candidates were cautious in responding on Thursday. Mueller's report noted numerous links between the Russian government and Trump's campaign and said the president's team expected it would benefit electorally from information stolen and released through Russian efforts, referring to hacked Democratic emails. But Mueller, a former FBI director, concluded there was not enough evidence to establish that Trump's campaign engaged in a criminal conspiracy with Moscow. The report with some portions blacked out to protect sensitive information, revealed details of how Trump tried to force Mueller's ouster, directed members of his administration to publicly vouch for his innocence, and dangled a pardon to a former aide to try to prevent him from cooperating with the special counsel. The president's efforts to influence the investigation were mostly unsuccessful, but that is largely because the persons who surrounded the president declined to carry out orders or accede to his requests the report stated. Attorney General William Barr told a news conference Mueller had detailed 10 episodes involving the president and discusses potential legal theories for connecting these actions to elements of an obstruction offense. Barr concluded last month after receiving a confidential copy of Mueller's report that Trump had not actually committed a crime. Impeachment Unlikely any impeachment effort would start in the Democratic-led House of Representatives, but Trump's removal would require the support of the Republican-led Senate, an unlikely outcome. The Democratic chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Gerald Nadler, said he would issue subpoenas to obtain the UN Art Acted Mueller report and asked Mueller to testify before the panel by May 23. Based on what we have seen to date, going forward on impeachment is not worthwhile at this point. Very frankly, there is an election in 18 months and the American people will make a judgment, House Democratic leader Steny Hoyer told CNN. The inquiry laid bare what the special counsel and U.S. intelligence agencies have described as a Russian campaign of hacking and propaganda to sow discord in the United States, denigrate 2016 Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton, and boost Trump, the Kremlin's preferred candidate. Russia has denied election interference. The report said Mueller accepted the long-standing Justice Department view that a sitting president cannot be indicted on criminal charges, while still recognizing that a president can be criminally investigated. In analyzing whether Trump obstructed justice, Mueller looked at a series of actions by Trump, including his attempts to remove Mueller and limit the scope of his probe and efforts to prevent the public from knowing about a June 2016 meeting at Trump Tower in New York between senior campaign officials and Russians. In June 2017, Trump directed White House counsel Don McGahn to tell the Justice Department's number two official, Rod Rosenstein, that Mueller had conflicts of interest and must be removed, the report said. McGon did not carry out the order. McGon was home on a Saturday that month when Trump called him at least twice. You gotta do this. You gotta call Rod, McGon recalled the president as saying, according to the report. House Judiciary Democrat Jamie Raskin pointed to Trump's effort to get McGon to fire Mueller and then lie about being told to do so as an area of interest for lawmakers and said McGon and former Attorney General Jeff Sessions could be valuable witnesses as the committee moves forward.